Okay, let's take a final cleansing breath. And remember, as we go out campaigning this morning, we are all energies, beams of light, warming the city, accepting what we can't change, and changing what we can't accept. <laughs> okay, let's pass around the job hat. I think we should call it the opportunity hat. Ooh, good idea. Put that in the suggestion shoe. Ooh, can I be head of security? Oh, I don't think we're going to need security, Larry. When you run for office, everybody's out to get you. Remember the old saying? When you run for office... Everybody's out to get you. Got it. Hey, Abby. Okay. I'll write campaign songs. You peaked. Oh. No, I just picked it out. Isn't that wild? Okay, Jane. Have an aromatherapy facial. What? Well, I put that in there. I thought it'd be a nice treat for somebody. Oh. You got my vote. Celia, por favor. Gracias. Right speech for Chamber of Commerce breakfast. That's great, because then you can practice your English. Here we grow again. Hello. Hey, what are you doing home so early? I decided to take a week's vacation and help you start your campaign. Really? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Greg's going to be working with us today. Greg, introduce yourself. Well, uh, okay. I'm Greg. I'm the candidate's husband. Uh... And I do have some experience that might help. Uh, at 18, I was the youngest delegate ever to attend a national convention. And since then, I've worked on, gosh, half a dozen state and local races. And uh, last year, I ran for Congress. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, Abby, pass him the job hat. Job hat? I thought you said you've done this before. Go ahead. Pick out a job. OK. okay. Lick stamps. <gasps> You have an assistant. <laughs> Look at this, ladies. See how straight Greg's stamps are? <laughs> That's very good, Greg. <laughs> it's nice to have a seasoned campaigner aboard. I pledge to fight crime, put bad men in jail, and clean up our dirty bitches? I think you mean beaches? See, si. beaches. I'll just change that myself. There, see. Huh? Montgomery for supervisor. Uh, jeans and a t-shirt? Yeah, I guess they're pretty tight. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're doing. Oh! God. You know, that is a wonderful, and in this day and age, very safe expression of your sexuality. Have a great day! <laughs> Vote for Dharma. Hey, Larry. Hey, Pete. Thought I'd come over and help. Great. Hey, did you pack this briefcase yourself? Yeah. Did anyone unknown to you give you any items to put in that briefcase? <laughs> No. Has this briefcase been under your control at all times? Yes. Do you have any fruit or agricultural products? I'm going in, Larry. Okay, you're clear. Hey, look who's here. Every time I turn around lately, there he is. Jane, you married him? He's your husband. It does not give him the right to stalk me. Aren't you going to say hi to the little woman? Oh, hi, ma'am. How are you? No, you <laughs> Your wife? Oh, nah. We're having the worst fight we've ever had. We've had some doozies. You've only been married two days. <laughs> it's pretty stressful, the three of us living in that little apartment. Three of you? Yeah, she's got one of her ex-boyfriends living with us. <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, he's a nice guy. Great cook. The problem is, every time he has a bad dream, he crawls into bed with us. <laughs> Great, now I'm gonna have bad dreams. <laughs> So answer me this. How can he say he can't sleep with Marcus in the bed when he's the one snoring all night like he's got beans in his nose? Well, Jane, some guys are really bothered by having another guy in the bed. Marcus isn't. <laughs> well, it's not just Marcus. She's kind of scary. I'm pretty sure she stuck beans up my nose. <laughs> Pete, listen to me. You don't like Jane. Jane doesn't like you. The only reason you got married was you didn't want to be alone on Valentine's Day. True. Oh, you're saying it was a mistake? 
If you took all the mistakes you ever made, they wouldn't fill up the belly button of this mistake. Run, please, go directly to the courthouse and get this marriage annulled. Oh, I don't know, Greg. Annulment's a big decision. You know, I think I'm going to go talk to Marcus. He's known her a lot longer than I have. Are you listening to this? <laughs> Jane, I'm leaving now, but I want you to know I'm doing everything I can to work on our relationship. Uh-huh. Well, while you're out, will you pick up some beans? <laughs> hey, hey, can, I, can I talk to you? How cute are their kids going to be? Yeah, um, Don, I want to talk to you about my job here. Abby said that your stamps are the straightest. They are, but I think that I could be doing more. Like, like maybe I could help you come up with a campaign strategy. Oh, we already have an amazing strategy. See, instead of imposing my platform and my ideas on the people of San Francisco, I'm going to let them come to me and tell me what they want. Check it out. Doo -doo. I'm Dharma. Tell me what you want. Uh-huh. Are, th are these already up? All over town. They have our home phone number, and it doesn't say you're running for office. I'm going to tell them that when they call, it's a teaser. <laughs> it's a teaser, all right. Yeah. Here. Dharma for supervisor. Well, that is a very friendly offer, sir, but I'd rather sit on the board of supervisors. <laughs> Don't forget to vote. Oh, and I want everyone to know that my speech to the Chamber of Commerce this morning was a big hit. Special thanks to Celia for writing it. It was so much better before she don't get around with it. Okay, uh, next. It seems that the poster campaign has created a little misunderstanding. We can't ignore the fact that a lot of voters out there are starved for sex. Is there any ideas on how to help these lonely guys?